Hey everyone, Richard Norris here. So in today's video, I wanna share with you the perfect storm for property investors. So in the property market, in the buy to let property market at the moment, we all know that we're going through a recession. And one of the negative implications for property investors right now is that interest rates are rising. However, there is a perfect storm that brews underneath this as an underlying opportunities for new investors entering the market or even existing property investors who have everything together. Now, when you watch this video and we go through this calculation today, I want to show you the impact that Section 24 rent coverage and interest rate rises has on existing property property portfolio investors who have basically done things in the wrong way prior to now or have a less optimal position than most investors in the market today and why this is creating a, the buying opportunity of a decade in my opinion for the new breed of property investor for new people entering the market and as I say for existing property investors who are well informed well educated and are all already ahead of the market if you're one of those you're going to love today's YouTube video and I'm sorry if you're a person that has become motivated as a result of you being in the circumstances which I'm highlighting to people today on this YouTube channel. Now before I go into the calculation around why I believe now is a buying opportunity of a decade I'd just like to say please if you're new to my channel make sure that you subscribe hit the like button and also click that bell icon so that you can be notified of any new content that gets released. I'm currently releasing two videos a week at the moment okay. Now with that being said and without further ado for those of you who don't know me and you may be new to the channel my name is Richard Norris I'm a multi-million pound property investor. I have um, successfully grown my group of property companies to over 200k a month. So with that being said, let's jump in and go through these calculations. So over here on the right hand side, you can see that I put like sort of like a magic board together and I'm going to go through some calculations of the granular details so that you can really understand the situation that motivated sellers are in right now and how that's come about okay and the main three things like I said earlier in the video the main three things that have caused this um, position to happen are people that are high rate taxpayers that own properties in their own name and to some extent and purposes are have invested in areas with a low yield like areas in the southeast southwest of the UK right there's three variables there's the interest rate rise there's section 24 and there's also rent coverage which is causing people like the in this scenario causing existing landlords with property in their own name who tick these three criteria or don't tick this three criteria is probably be the best way to say it basically are being forced to sell and becoming motivated sellers and as a result an opportunity for the new people entering the market and like I said why I believe now is the buying opportunity of a decade so this is an exact example of a client that I have right now so I'm working with a client right now who has an existing property portfolio and unfortunately for them they're existing property portfolio has the problems that I'm highlighting to you in this video today and therefore they've they're on the brink of becoming a motivated seller unless we restructure the portfolio now which is one of the reasons why they've chosen to work with me so I just want to go through the example so you can see hey if you're in this situation like I could reach out to Rich and maybe Rich can help me through this because he's dealing with people in this situation right now. And equally, if I'm a new investor into the market, then this is also great news for me because I can go in and negotiate some great discounts from motivated sellers that exist in the market today because of the problems that I'm highlighting in this video today. So my client came to me and the put the basically she has a property in her portfolio and it's currently worth five hundred and twenty five thousand pounds and it's and it's in London. The current mortgage on the property, okay, is three hundred sixty nine thousand two hundred forty six. So that's here and the rent that, that so they're currently at seventy percent loan to value. Okay, currently at seventy percent loan to value and the rent that they get on this property, the gross rent that they get every single month is one thousand nine hundred pounds a month. Their current mortgage is seven hundred and sixty nine pounds a month and it's currently at two and a half percent interest rate which is good like this was brought like a, um, quite a long time ago I think that uh, the, this property specifically that we're speaking about was brought in 2007 and sits in the portfolio today and they're currently on a two and a half percent interest rate um, so this is what the numbers look like right now uh, and the management fee they self-manage so there is no management fee they have a monthly operating expense of 190 which is 10 percent of the 1900 for buildings and contents insurance and any kind of like um, maintenance or wear and tear throughout the year and then you have a service charge and a ground rent now on this specific property in London the service charge and ground rent is 77 pounds a month so this is one of the 
other disadvantages of investing in a place like London, um, where you have leasehold properties or apartments with leases on them, you end up paying quite high service charge and ground rents like this. And the profit therefore currently right now is £864, which is the 1900 minus the mortgage of 769 minus the monthly operating expenses of 190 here, minus the 77, gives you this gross profit of £864. So right now, okay, the, profit, the property is profitable, but let's look at the problems that they're just about to experience and why this person has become a motivated seller and is in need to sell and the opportunity that you have as a new investor coming into the market today with a recession, with interest rates rising and with section 24. So um, here's their scenario right now. So this is before the interest rates rise, but they're but this problem that they face right now is due to something called Section 24, which is the buy-to-let tax changes that basically said if you're a higher rate taxpayer, if you earn more than £50,000 of income a year, so you're taxed at 40% in the higher rate bracket, then and you have properties in your own name, then you're going to be subjective to Section 24 buy-to-let tax changes, which basically means you're no longer able to offset your mortgage and pay um pay your taxes on your gross profit, you're going to have to pay 40% of tax on the gross rent before you can take off a 20% tax relief, which I'm about to explain here. So in this scenario, then they still get £1,900 a month rent in, right? But they can no longer offset their mortgage at £769. And remember, their mortgage is still at a good rate of 2.5% in this scenario. But what Section 24 meant that when it came into its full effects in April 2020, it meant that this client has to pay 40% tax on the 1900 on the gross rental income. They're not allowed to offset their mortgage before they pay the tax. So they pay 40% tax. So 40% of the 1900 here is 760 pounds, right? But what the government did say and HMRC did say is they said that you can claim 20% tax relief on the interest only mortgage. So if you take the 769, which is the interest only mortgage payments every month right now, and you take 20% of that, um, they can claim back 152 pounds. So if you take the 760 minus the 152, you end up with a tax bill due of 608 pounds. So if you take the 1900 minus the tax due of 608, your net rental income is actually 1,292 pounds a month instead of 1900, right? Then what you have to do is you have to take off your mortgage. So you take off the 769, which is the mortgage at two and a half percent. Remember, we're still paying two and a half percent mortgage. And the management fee, there is no management fee down here because um, this client in particular manages the property themselves. They still have the MOE of 190 to come off and they still have a service charge and ground rent of 77 pounds. This gives them, if you take the 1900 minus the tax of 608, minus the mortgage of 769, minus the MOE at 190, minus the service charge and ground rent of 77, you end up with a profit here of 200, that should say there, 256 pounds a month. Okay. So 256 pounds of net profit a month. So they've lost. They've effectively lost in this scenario nearly £600 due to Section 24. Their profit every month has gone down by £600 because they're a higher rate taxpayer and they own this property in their own name. So they're subjective to Section 24 by to tax changes, right? Now, not only is that a problem, like straight away, you can see one of the problems why existing landlords and why people that were in this position wanted to leave the, leave the property market, which by the way, when old investors leave the property market, this creates an opportunity for the new people entering the market and a new breed of property investors, right? So if you're somebody watching this video and you're thinking about getting started in property, this is actually an opportunity for you. If you're an existing landlord and you're in this position, it's about to get a hell of a lot worse for you and you are going to become a motivated seller unless you restructure your portfolio out now as well, right? So what we find now is that you end up with a scenario where not only have you got section 24 to contend with, but you also have um, mortgage interest rate increases to contend with as well. So we still have £525,000 of, of the property price. The mortgage remains the same at 369426. The rental income is still 1900 a month, but the problem is now their mortgage has gone up from originally what their mortgage was 769 okay at two and a half percent they're now paying 1726 pounds at 5.61 percent interest rate this is the new rate that they're about to go on in in, in the next coming months okay this is when their uh, mortgage is up for renewal they're going to be entering 
a 5.61% mortgage term on interest only. So their mortgage payments have gone up significantly, okay, to £1,726. Now remember, they still have Section 24 to contend with. It doesn't go away, so they cannot offset this £1,726 before they pay the tax. So HMRC again says pay, you pay the 40% tax on the one on the 1900 which is 760 but your 20% tax relief. So you get 20% on the 1726. So 20% of the 1726 is your 345. That's this figure here. And if you take the 760 minus the 345, you end up with a tax bill due here of 415 pounds. So if you take the 1900 minus the 415 pounds, the net rent that they get now is 1,485 pounds per month, but they still have to pay their mortgage. Now their mortgage has gone up to 5.61%. So they have to pay, take off their mortgage of 1,726 pounds minus their management fee, which is zero at the moment, minus their monthly operating expenses of 190 minus their service charge and ground rent at 77, if you do all of that calculation, you end up, this client ends up with a, a loss every month of 500 pounds. That's 6,000 pounds a year that this investor has to pay every year just to keep this property portfolio. It's negatively cash flowing. They're having to subsidize their mortgage payments. Not only is that a motivation for them to sell, but the other motivation that they have to sell right now, if it wasn't bad enough already, then shit just got a howl lot worse because their rent coverage. Now, rent coverage is an affordability check that the banks do. Now, Pre-interest rate rises, the rent coverage was 145% at around 5.5% interest rates, right? And we can see that this is 5.61% and the rent coverage is only 110%. So it, even at 145%, it's still 35% short on rent coverage. So in order for this to come back into any position where the banks would be willing to lend with them without calling in the loan and, re and basically redeeming the loan from the client, it would mean that this client would have to pay down their loan to value on their mortgage. They'd have to put in a considerable amount of money. And we worked out on the call um, last night to be putting in between 90,000 to 140,000 pounds um, in the next sort of six to 12 months in order to make sure that this doesn't get called in for redemption because it doesn't meet the, re the rent affordability checks, right? So this is an issue, right? But the bigger issue on that is that the banks have increased their rent coverage ratio because of interest rates rising. And they're now looking for 145% of rent coverage, not at five and a half percent, at seven and a half percent interest rates now. Okay, which is an even bigger problem. So they're now looking for rent at seven and a half percent. So they're saying that in order for your portfolio to tick the lender's box, they need to see the rent affordability across a deal or across your whole portfolio of 145% at seven and a half percent. So this client is being affected by section 24, it's being affected by a rise in interest rates, and they've gone from a position where they were once making 864 pounds of net profit on their port on this property to making a loss every month of 500 pounds and not meeting the bank's stress testing of 145% at seven and a half. It's a big problem. And this is the shit storm that some property investors are in right now. And um, I need to make sure I say this in the right way, but unfortunately facts are facts and we can't um, basically do anything about this other than highlight the problems that are happening and just basically give the raw data that this is a problem for existing investors in this situation, but it creates an opportunity for people who are existing property investors who have everything together, who are future-proofed, who aren't in this situation, have a profitable portfolio, have 145% at 10% interest rates, not 75 at 10, they're profitable at 10% interest rates. If they're in that position and they might have some cash kicking around, you're in a very strong position right now to go and approach people like this who will become motivated sellers. Now in this scenario, you can see that this, this client, if they wanted to sell this property at 525, if they got full asking price to pay off the 369, they would have, they would take out, you know, roughly around like 140 to 150,000 pounds of cash they would take out. But the problem is because this uh, investor now is having to pay 600, 6,000 a year and they're losing it and the banks may be knocking on their door very soon because they don't meet the rent coverage or they've missed their mortgage payments because they can no longer keep up with the mortgage payments, this person becomes motivated. Now, if you go in and spoke to this person, you could effortlessly create a win-win. If you could offer them around, say, 450, 460, this investor, you get 65K discount on the actual market value, but this investor walks away with 450 minus the 370, let's say, walks away with 70K of positive cash, 
as opposed to being stressed, paying 6,000 a year uh, at risk of the loan being called in, they walk away in that scenario with a deal and you walk away with a deal where you've actually been able to capitalize and get the deal below market value. So I hope this makes sense from a high level. I hope it helps you to understand and alludes to some of the problems that are in the market for existing investors today, but it also alludes to the opportunities. And you can see clearly as a new investor or somebody who's in a good position as an existing property portfolio landlord, that you are in a good position right now. And there will be lots of good deals like this coming up where people have these problems and we can go and create an ethical win-win and actually capitalize on the recession and the market opportunities in the market, right? Right now and actually go in and create these discounts. Because when you're in a strong market, when interest rates are at an all-time low and people can get cheap lending and the rental affordability checks are lower, it makes it easier for people to enter the market, which means it's more competitive, which means that actually it's not really a buyer's market, it becomes a seller's market. And we don't really want that as an investor. So like most people get this wrong. They think, hey, I'm going to enter the market when the market's strong, when interest rates are low. And whilst that might be good for interest rates to be low to get cheap lending, I get it and you can make good profit. It doesn't actually create the best opportunities for you to be able to get motivated deals because actually what we saw pre um, pre-interest rate rises is that actually property prices went through the roof and things were going for asking price. It was really difficult to get deals. Now the pendulum has swung and there's a great opportunity for you to be able to go and negotiate discounts, get below market value deals, um, approach motivated sellers for the reasons that I've mentioned in this video. So with that said, and without further ado, I would like to wrap up the video. I hope you found this useful. If you're somebody in this situation and you want to reach out for help because you don't know what to do in this situation and you're feeling a bit stressed because you are in this situation and you want to restructure and you want to go through the restructure opportunities with me, please click on the link below and you can schedule a call with my team. I can help you in this situation. We're helping a number of existing property investors in this situation today, and we're consulting with them to restructure their portfolios. Equally, if you're somebody new who's new to the property market or an existing investor who just wants to further enhance their knowledge and take things to the next level and you want to know how to get access to opportunities and find deals like this where you can create these ethical win-wins and you can get below market value deals and you want to capitalize on the opportunity and be one of the people that makes money during the recession as opposed to standing still and basically um, being at risk of getting made redundant in your job or not making as much money as you need to to make ends meet because of inflation, because of the cost of living, and you want to add security, then again, please, you know, click on the link below, schedule a call with my team, see if we're a fit, see if you want to start working with us, because we do have a few spots available right now to get involved in our flagship training program, Property Investor Accelerator. So with that being said, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And equally, if you haven't already, make sure you ring that bell icon so that you can be notified of any new content that I release on a weekly basis. Cases. And like I say, if you want to work together, you want to find out more about my program, you think that you would want somebody who wants to take advantage of the opportunities in the market right now, you want to take your portfolio to that next level, you know, we'd love to work with you. We have a few spots open right now. Please click the link below in the description, schedule a call, and um, yeah, we'll see if it makes sense. Speak soon.